I'm Emily Cruikshank. I'm an artist printmaker. Um, I've just finished setting up this etching studio behind me. I've got a few pieces in the, the print fair this year, which is really exciting. Um, there's a mono print piece called Blind Optimism, which I feel like is quite a good uh, uh, reference to how I've been trying to approach this whole situation recently. Um, and then another, another installation, print installation um, called Elementals, which is um, etchings. You know, there's, there's, so, many, there's so many artists uh, who were exhibiting last year or have been exhibiting over the, the years at the print fair um, that have it's just been incredibly inspiring to see you know what you can do with printmaking what you can do with these mediums I, well, I just I went for a walk actually just before um, just before this to uh, into the wood to go and get some fresh inspiration and I think it just it grounds I find it grounds me it reminds me to 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 just focus on the small things, you know, like the leaves changing colour right now. The, the trees are just incredible. They're, you know, they look like they're on fire, some of them. So the work that I make is is um, really about uh, noticing the little things that happen along the way, like um, you know, when you're mixing the ink, how the ink moves, and you get these sort of little tendrils of the really thick ink and uh, how the the metal filings collect in a line when you're filing the metal plates, and how the ink kind of collects in the grooves of the metal um, of the metal marks left by the rafts. All those sort of little tiny things that happen. I think one of the the things that I, I absolutely love about etching is that it has this huge um, amount of creative potential. You can just do so much with it. And um, it's, it's, you can, I mean, it's impossible to be bored in an etching studio, but I think it can also at times be a bit overwhelming. So I use these game strategies to, to try to just keep things a little bit on track. Um, and uh, they've been, they've actually been really helpful. And it's, you know, if the aim of the game is to kind of have as much fun in the studio as possible, then the rules of the game are to kind of um, set certain boundaries to allow the, the work to actually go somewhere <laughs> rather than going off on got going off track the whole time. Well, the first etching that I actually came across was at school when uh, it was etchings by, or etchings and charcoal drawings by Kath Colwitz, who's, um, uh, this, she created these incredibly powerful drawings and etchings of I think there were a lot of sort of mother and children during the Second World War, um, but they were they just really, you know, they were incredibly inspiring. She managed to capture all this emotion and power within just line. Uh, the other artist is Georgia O'Keeffe, um, who was heavily inspired by nature. She's very well known for her sort of her really large uh, flower paintings, uh, but I particularly love her desert paintings. She lived in the desert and she painted skulls that had been bleached white by the sun um but they're just they're just incredible and that she has this i think that this kind of like this idea of an underlying rhythm in nature that's what i've i'm always going back to i think last week i'd i'd been a lot i'd spent a lot of time in my own head and i you know was giving into a few sort of negative thoughts and feelings and, and or just the unknown and, and a few fears um of various things and so i decided to go for a run in the woods in abbey wood and um it was really early on saturday morning and i was still in my head at this point and um i heard this really loud music playing and my my instant reaction at that point was oh, you know, they just need peace and quiet. You know, why is someone playing a radio really loudly in the wood? And I realized that it wasn't a radio. It was someone singing, someone playing a guitar and singing their heart out. And uh, the music was incredible. And then I heard the words that he was singing and he was singing. I mean, that song could have been about anything, but he was singing a song about um, laying down your fears. And it really got me because, um, you know, I'd just been, I'd spent the entire week before worrying about stuff and it, I took it as a sign, you know, it was like something was telling me like, you know, there's all this stuff you could be worried about, but 
it's going to be fine. You're going to be fine. And I think it just really reminded me of the importance of creativity at this time in particular. And if, if you have created something that speaks to even just one person, then that's amazing.